Arizona 34, UCLA 28. Now, I don't have the actual stats pulled up and whatnot. I do have just the stats from the game. So we're going to look at that. UCLA ran 10 more plays. They had a turnover, which certainly hurt. Uh, 465 total yards to Arizona's 436. Uh, Arizona 6.7 yards per play to 6.2. UCLA nearly 6 yards per rush. Uh, Arizona ran the ball 36 times and had, you know, some success with it. It was actually able to to at least keep UCLA at bay. Uh, Arizona, 10.8 yards per pass. Jacob Cowing and, and that bunch that they've got are explosive. Explosive. And here is the issue. Arizona, their offense has always been capable of doing this, but they pick and choose times to disappear, right? I think that's the biggest issue is you never know what you're going to get. But the the issue that we had here was Arizona's defense actually came to play in this one. They had seven tackles for loss, four sacks. They had three quarterback hurries. Um, they they were they were good. Like it, this, obviously they're not great, but this was a a pretty good football team, and I was uh, shocked. I guess I would say uh, at at what was able to to happen here. I mean, this was. Not what was supposed to go down. UCLA was a 19 and a half point favorite as 82 Atlantic brought up here. But I, my numbers had UCLA by like 27. Like Now, I will, I will tell you this. It was a bit of a look-ahead spot. But you still have to go out and win the ball game. And UCLA with this, I mean, it just absolutely it throws a wrench into everything. Here, got the stats pulled up now. You can actually see what we're, what we're looking at. Okay. So, Jaden Delora, 22 out of 28, 315 yards, two touchdowns. You had Wiley uh, with 21 carries for 97 yards and one touchdown. Uh, Jacob Cowing, nine receptions, 118 yards. Um, but he was not who caught the touchdown passes. Like this, Zach Charbonnet ran the ball nine times for 38 yards. I know that he's apparently coming off of an injury or something, but this is not supposed to happen. And now with Oregon losing to Washington, and UCLA losing to Arizona, this takes a lot of the luster off of what was supposed to be a huge Pac-12 weekend because you still have Utah going to Oregon next week, and you've got UCLA and USC playing this next week. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll hit that question here in a second. Uh, this was this was so strange because Arizona won the game, you know, at the end of the ball game. Like it was, it was certainly, it was certainly weird. Because they, they put up 13 points in the fourth quarter. Uh, they didn't score any in the third quarter. It looked like UCLA was going to take back control of this ball game, even after being down 21-14 uh, to 14 at the half. Uh, they were tied at the end of the third quarter at only 21, which, by the way, the total in this game was 78. And and we had a 34-28 to 28 ball game. Like, this is not what was supposed to go down. And yet, here we are. Uh, I don't know what the Pac-12 is going to look like now. I don't think UCLA is technically eliminated from the Pac-12 championship game. And obviously, this loss does not dispel them from, um, you know, <laughs> it, it doesn't stop them from being able to beat USC and still getting to the Pac-12 title game. But I think it does certainly hurt the Pac-12's chances of getting a playoff participant at this point. Uh, Zach Charbonnet, by the way, he, he had 24 carries for 181 yards rushing and three touchdowns. But he was the leading receiver for them. Nine catches for uh, 38 yards. Just... And crazy what we witnessed that UCLA was not able to get it done, uh, you know, getting into the end zone. Like, at 28 points is still, you know, decent, but like against that Arizona defense, I mean, teams have been putting up a ton of points on them, and it was always just a matter of whether or not the Arizona offense showed up. But here they are. Here they are. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.